Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and welcome back to Old World Blues. As you can see on screen, right now we are in a little bit of a conflict with the Iron Mongers. They've literally just gone to war with us because, well, they wanted our lands, and I said, no, we took out Santa Ana fairly and squarely, and they're like, no, we want the land really badly, and I'm like, they go out to die them, even though they got a lot of tanks. I have played as Iron Mongers before, but hopefully we can do well enough that these guys don't all die down here, so we'll see what happens. We have a lot of comments to go through, but we'll address them as soon as we're out of uh, uh, this, this here conflict for right now. Ooh, ooh, you know what? Just kind of hold the line. Don't worry about that, guys. Just kind of, just try not to die. Oh, that's not good. My goal is to get over here and cut them off through here, so uh, we'll try our best and keep going. And let's make sure that we actually shorten the line so our power armor can get all the way over there if possible. Which would be very, very nice. Very, 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 very good. Ooh. Yes, guys. Do not stop. Oh. They can't move now. And we got in, and we have cut off everyone in the north, which is great. Oh, that is not good, though, if you see this right now. Uh, all these guys do not have orders down here. So, uh, there you go. Now, please stay there. Please stay there. Oh, crop rotations are very nice as well. Look at that. It is February 28th, 2278, my friends. And we're doing, well, we're doing okay. Let's grab some irrigation, then. My goal is to just literally to cut all these guys off in the north. Have the power armor help destroy them all. And, uh, yeah. And then kill the rest of these guys, because they don't deserve life, apparently. Because they went to war with us, so... These guys can go die now. All right, so we've got an upgrade for this. We're some bloody mess. Mysterious Stranger, Idiot Savant. Oh, equipment capture might not be too bad. Spec Ops. Spec, spec Ops? Oh, that sounds like it should work for any type of special divisions, but I'm not going to risk it for this campaign. Uh, Nerd Rage, not bad. Enforcers, robot stuff, fire team stuff. Uh, experience Loaders Losses goes down by 10%, though, which is not too bad. Uh, anything else here? Spec Ops, Reconnaissance. Well, we don't have any Recon Honor Soldiers anyway, so, I, you know, I think I might just save it. I might just save it for another time, maybe? Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, we might get another uh, land trade or something like that, so. Yeah, that'd be really bad if we got encircled here, so, guys, please do not die. You guys help support the attack if you really want to. I just want to see these guys die. That's my most important thing that we need to accomplish here. Did you guys die here? No, that's good. Or, we could take the capital and then kill everyone off here. That might not be too bad. Since these guys are cut off already, you might be able to do some serious damage over here. That would be very nice. Secrets of Fort Hood, though. In which, actually, I didn't do any of this stuff already just because they went to war with us. And I did ask you guys yesterday whether we'll do Brotherhood Robots or Brotherhood Yeomen. But we'll get there in just a little bit. But we'll do Open the Army. If you'd like to reread this, please go right ahead. But we can use that equipment basically right now. Good. I want them to starve. Ooh, recycling would be very good, even though we're pretty good on energy cells already. Good. Let them starve a little bit. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, where did the divisions go? So we take that. The capital's now up there, which means all of you guys can actually help us out down here first. Take all these guys out and just kill them off. You actually might just be able to do that already. You actually might just want to go in. Because if they're starving, and we do have a little bit of anti-tank. Our guys are not that strong, though, so... My apologies about that, but let us see how well we can do or not do against the on the assault against these fine fellows. Oh, and they are attacking out here. Oh, that is not good. Oh, are they actually war someone else? No, it's, I guess it's the Shale's army versus Unity of Austin, so that's all right for now. Um, actually, yeah, might still be able to instruggle some guys here if we really wanted to go all out. So let's see what we can do about that. And you guys just go on in as well and see what happens. Oh, oh, maybe not. Okay, let's kind of calm down on that idea then. Okay, immediately calm down. That's not bueno. They attack us up there. Just finish these guys off if we possibly can. Go ahead and do that and uh, I'll just drive drive them around. I'll oh, we'll see what happens. Obviously, as you can see, our divisions are just not that strong right now. Which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Help take them out. Jolly good, jolly good, jolly good. One division taking out the tanks. Very good. And this is definitely not how I wanted it to turn out, but it is what it is. Let's see. You guys hold for now. Um, I guess you can guys go up there if you really wanted to. That's fine with me. Over here is not too bad. They're trying to, you know, manage their space, which makes sense. You guys, ooh, you just gonna hang out. You push them back in maybe a little bit. That'd be okay with me. And get over there too so you can circle those two tank divisions. That'll be nice. Uh, yeah, yeah guys, don't worry about that. Yeah, guys, don't worry about that either. And there you go. Yeah, the only saving grace we got right now is our power armor, which is great to have, so. Let them survive a little bit. <clears throat> Let them have issues. Oh, yes, please. Polyalphabetic ciphers are very good to have. Up next, we will go ahead and grab what? Hmm. 
Resources? We're kind of okay on resources. How about infantry? No, we're still pretty good at infantry as well. How about some heavy breakthrough special forces? Breakthrough? Yes. Very good. And instead of moving down there, just go ahead and go on in, guys. Don't worry about it. It's only a single division, and they go bye-bye. Right now, we've lost 255 guys, which is not bad, since we have about 11,500. And we've killed off 2,400, which is, I'd say, pretty darn decent. But once this is done, now we can focus on really hammering home here. And home is where the heart is, some would say, but we're not going to get that sappy. All right. <clears throat> Something like that. Hmm. All right, open the armory. Follow up with Brotherhood Runways, activate old gear. Yeah, we can get some more react reactivate old gear. That'd be pretty good. Oh, they did throw someone in there, so that's interesting. Uh, would you guys be able to go 1v1 against a tank division? You really should be able to. Don't worry about going in there, guys. Just kind of hanging out for now. Just defend the lines. Oh, they're actually going to war with these guys, too. They're not going to get any of the territory, though. In the last 60 days, zero refugees have fled before concrete armies, and 289 have come to us. I will, like I said, I will get to comments once we are a little bit further in this episode, so that, uh, huh, they actually pinned us, look at that, that's kind of impressive. So that, uh, we can just focus on the comments when we need to. Yeah, you're not going to pin us. Oh, muti planes, very good. Come on, guys, come on, power armor, I know you're not very strong right now, but that's okay. And? Are they, do they gotta be doing last stand. We can't pierce them, yeah, they're doing last stand. Look at that. They're definitely doing last stand. At least they were. Good. Now kill them off. Take off the capital. Take off the capital? That sounds very naughty. Oh. Oh, they're spreading out this way. Well, that sucks. Force the attack no matter what. And they're gone. Okay. At least they're gone. At least we didn't lose the Alamo. That would have been really pathetic. So if we do this, if it wasn't for us, they would... Yeah, I don't really care what these people want. Uh, ooh, not bad. So, now, we gotta defend against these guys. We really gotta make sure we got more guns and equipment and just stuff like that, so. So that's good. And these guys are part of the Texan Economic Union. And it looks like the Brotherhood is killing off these guys, so. Hmm. If we had to, I'm thinking... Here? We might go, wee And rebuilding the West sounds nice. Alright, so. We have a little bit of political power. We can go and core probably Houston now. Yes? Oh, very good. Very good. A little more power. Uh, more factories, open slots, more resources. Very good stuff. And we have some assimilation hopefully we can do... Uh, ooh. Wow, minus 2.5% stability. Oh, well, we're still making some good money. Let's close out of that. All right, so, a couple comments. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do Brotherhood Robots or we should go Brotherhood Yeomen, which I like both. I really do. But overall, there is more support currently for... Robots. So we'll go with robots next. We don't traditionally integrate robots into our armies, but they seem to work well for enemies. It may be worthwhile to investigate the utility, if nothing else. And we might end up using them quite a bit. We'll see what happens. Just because... Okay, so... That gets me into the discussion about the line auction. I wanted to go down conventional warfare and grab radio as well as mobile fortifications because it's just extremely strong. Mobile fortifications are very strong. But as someone did point out in the comments <clears throat> that they patched this. So if you even go down this way and you get the radios, at least the radios, then you'll be locked out of doing any other land auction. So, realistically, I'm going to stop producing, going down this way, and we're going to go down Refined Warfare, because that's the best one for Power Armor. So, Conventional Warfare, we'll stop here. We're out of the war. We might go to another war before we actually leave this doctrine, because it still has uses. It's still not terrible. But we will go down this way. So, thank you to who, to the person that told me about that little issue. So, that's very, very good to know, and thank you very much. I'll get some of that. So, we will deal with that soon enough. Reactivate old gears, good, and brotherhood robots. As much as we want more manpower, we're already doing very well, even though we're demobilizing a little bit. It is what it is, of course. <clears throat> get 1.3 to every single, single, single day. Ooh, if I justify on them, well, these guys join them? I'm actually, hmm. Attacking Gator Maz. I don't know. I might. It might just be best to wait. They might not go to war with us. And let's see. We are missing infantry equipment. It's getting slightly worse. Pretty typical. Pretty much expected. And robotics. Well, technically, we'll, we will have robotics, in which we will get set the robot tech. So we'll see what happens. And vehicles. We're not releasing vehicles. Support stuff. Uh, train doggies. Doggies are always good to get, right? <clears throat> How the comments. I also asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with expedition focus or. 
hacking focus. And overall, there's way more support for hacking focus. So high-tech security comes from naturally with these expeditions. Training on how to deal with these systems will greatly facilitate our work and prepare the necessary security codes to accelerate our progress into the depths of Fort Hood. Very good, very good, very good. And we're going to go grab over here something maybe, hopefully, you know. Okay, then. Engineering, yeah. We're, we're doing very well on technology. Almost too well. Let's grab some more water, because we can. What are we missing? Nothing, except scrap might become a problem eventually. That is something we got to keep an eye out on. And actually, you know what? We can do two at a time. Um, we did just score Houston, so I'll do that one. But focus a little bit more on civvies first. All right, so these guys are probably going to be like, no, we want the territory. And I'm going to be like, oh, no, that's not good. But I'm going to be like, oh, well. Hacking focus. Settler robotics? Nice. Yeah, we definitely gotta get more guns. This is not good for us. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, that is... Hmm. Oh, we can't even make power armor. Oh, we're so out of factories. Uh, go down to one then. Mm, let's at least get out of our deficit of infantry equipment first. That'd be important. Do they actually have cores on this? They don't. Oh, just good. <clears throat> and someone did recommend in the comments from yesterday, open the armory, which we did, which is very good. And we need to open the vaults as well, which actually be very, very good as well. That's, that's very good. Uh, we'll, we'll do this one eventually. There are the these are the last reserves. Everything else is going to be what we can find, scavenge and steal. Let us hope it will suffice, which will be good. Draft the results. We'll get there eventually because we don't need any more leaders for now. Uh, someone recommends we get as many forces as possible. And we, like I said, we might use robots actually instead of infantry for army, just be, depending on what we do. Just because I do like the armor, but we'll see. Hmm. Hacking focus. I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter to me as long as we're using power armor. That's the most important thing to me. As long as we're using power armor, that's all I really care about. Recon. Maintenance might not be bad. I'll grab some more anti-tanks. That'd be good. There you go. Thank you. Do have 16. Robots. Alamo volunteers are actually quite good. 20 combo with are so nice. The paladins themselves. I did actually try this out off screen. Uh, let's do this one first. Let's see. Pistols. Laser pistols. Uh, suppression. Hmm... Actually, do we have any... Hold on. We'll talk about this one in a little, in a little bit, too. <clears throat> Elite Weaponry. We do have a Vault APA. APA. Advanced Power Armor looks really cool. Nice. But, what do we want? Yeah. Why not? Oh, we're going to have Anti-Armor Tactics. I'm not going to do any more land. I don't know. Are these, are, these, are these guys going to attack us soon? They might. They might not. I do want to core more of the territory around here for first, so... Ooh. Nice. Uh, actually, that's fine. There you go. <clears throat> hmm. Because we do get quite a bit of entrenchment going down this way already. But infantry does get some more organization, which is nice. And breakthrough. Eh, does that really help you on defense? Ooh, do we do that now? Ah, screw it, we'll do it now, because we have six research slots. So there, there you go. And then concentration of force. Other comments? Uh, let's see. Yeah, apparently our focus tree, someone said, is not finished yet. Which is... Interesting. Um, as we saw yesterday, send it west. This is not done yet, but it'll be done eventually, which which we will come back to this nation. So, my, my apologies for my words. Apparently, I'm not speaking very well right now. Oh, look. Mutant Smashers? Huh. That would have been really useful. Circuit Breakers. That's That would have been very useful as well, but we'll get that at the very end. Attempt Repairs. <clears throat> What else? We can still get a United Texan front, but I'm not that I, I'm not interested in that. No, thank you. I guess draft the results. We haven't plundered it yet. Well, I guess we'll do Brotherhood Runways. Why not? Cool. And we have some more political power. Getting more conscription. Uh, we don't really need that at all. Train Mongols are very good. We just need bigger forces here. I'm going to go with Gatling lasers. So HRCs. Because I want to go oh, quite a bit, a few lasers in this campaign, which would be nice. Okay, so how much do we need to core this area? That's still not bad. Liber, Liber City, 216 is not terrible. And the Mont, 221. But this one gives us a... F uh, actually, they're almost exactly the same. This one has a dockyard there, which doesn't really matter too much. But this is way, 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 way more resources, which is very good. Oh, more divisions? Good. Oh, actual power armor. Look at that. Nice. And apparently, uh, someone did say that uh, we can increase assimilation by researching buildings or technologies, which is good to know. So that's very, very good to know. And do we have a surplus? Ooh, tank equipment, nice. Robots, very good. Brother Runways are very good. Clear the sky? Uh, I, don't, I don't really want to do that one. Attempt repairs. What equipment they do have is unreliable. Best repairs should be on the next, on our list of priorities. Very good. We have plenty of anti-tank. Demo equipment's looking good. Fire teams we need some more of. We need some more of this. We need power armor and infantry equipment. Holy goodness, that's not good. 
basic well pumps are good. Let's grab some advanced well pumps because we can. And begin to just score more stuff. <clears throat> nice. And more resources, more manpower, more factories. Just stuff we all need. Uh, I don't want to train these guys because since we don't have any more... Uh, well, <laughs> power armor and reserve, which sucks, so... It is what it is. I'm worried that if I justify these guys, will these guys get involved? Hmm. They might. But they might not. Let's go ahead and get some better doggos. Uh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Lanius is gone. Even Iron Alliance is gone. Oh my goodness. That is... That is a little wild. Lost those bunkers. Oh, well, there goes those guys. Attempt repairs. And then, uh, what we do, powering the capacitors. A problem that seems to be twofold. Failing equipment is compounded by a lack of adequate power, which we'll address next. Yeah, we can go order these guys patrol. And, oh, that's what we're going to get done. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab some. Logistics are usually pretty grabs. Let's go with this one. That's fine with me. Uh, I do want to check out these guys, though, to see if they... Taming the jungle, that's what I thought. Where is that? Oh, no. Gator Maws. Yeah, they have... <clears throat> I want to see what they do with it. one last patrol, because I do want to take out more people, but... It's a little difficult. Then again, Santa Ana did die, so we might want to focus a little bit more down here. But I don't know when these guys are going to attack, so... I don't know if they're going to attack us. If we, if we go to war with them, will the rest of the Union join in? I want to say no, but I could be wrong, so we'll learn here. It might be good. It might be very bad. Um, assimilation drive. Wow. 13,000. That's a lot of people. This is 90% of our core population. Zero been have expelled. Oh, boy. All right, not bad. And we'll go and grab some breakthrough. That'd be nice. You know what? We'll try this once. 30.7. Not bad. Powering the capacitors. Very good. And then we'll do somewhere. Oh, we need to improve stuff. Clear the sky. Get out of here, plane. Very descriptive. Very incredibly descriptive. Uh, complicated circuitry is good. Let's grab. Oh, no, that's ahead of time. Oh. Uh, improved decimetric radar because we can use that for the focus. 2,200 people have been assimilated. Why is it still 57? Yeah. I wish we could, there was a way we could. Uh, I guess technically there will be hopefully a way to assimilate more and more and more. But, hmm. It doesn't help us that much with manpower, but eh, maybe a little bit. Still get 44 every month, which is nice. I probably want to do war propaganda, but as long as we get more stability, that'd be good. But we have the next spirit, or next <laughs> spirit. Focus. Alamo to the skies. Any brother that fights in the sky is a safe brother. Of course, I read this yesterday, too. From that safety, they can provide it for those below as well. The more we rule the skies, the safer we will be. There goes a warrant as well. Yeah. This is a good test, so. So, we'll see, right here, whether these guys will join, or, you know, the Brotherhood, as well as Alamo Chapter. Not Alamo Chapter. I apologize for my mispronunciations. The Brotherhood will join or not. My goodness. I really need to do better my pronunciations. So, let's learn. I didn't think they would, but I could still be very wrong. I could still be incredibly wrong. Alright, everyone. So, my apologies about that. As you saw near the end of that fade-out, that we went toward the Unity of Austin, I tried it. It didn't go so well, but, uh... <clears throat> here we are. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave a lot of this land that we took from San Ana last time open. And, uh... We're gonna go to war with these guys, because why not? And eventually, once we go to war with these guys, then these people want to come in and kill us as well. So, I just figured, let's do this before the Texan Brotherhood unites with the Lone Star and Unity of Austin, and hopefully we can do well. Even though, let's just say... <clears throat> Off screen, I tried it as well, and didn't go so great. So in the meantime, we could be doing these focuses, and they're good and all. I mean, we probably will. Uh, we don't really need that one. This one might not be bad, but it doesn't give us any more defense. Realistically, I've just been sitting here trying to core more stuff, get more political power, so... Uh, air is bad for... Let's get Codex Studies. A key failing of the Texan Brotherhood was their stray from Codex-inspired tactics. A return to the doctrinal roots would no doubt help purify our integrity as a Brotherhood chapter, because we could really use that, and we went to war, and they're trying to really beat the crap out of us, which is not good, but that's okay with us. We don't want to lose any divisions here. But we've got Marching Fire. We've been doing more of our land auction as well, but I just really want to make sure that we have more than enough uh, just factories going forward. Because let's just be real here, we're going to need them. We're definitely going to need them. Because we're going to need a lot of divisions very soon. Just so many divisions. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. And we do have some of you guys putting down resistance. Just go over here. That's fine. And let's keep doing some of this as well. Let's form a department. That'll be nice. This way they'll waste their equipment, we'll get, we'll steal some of their equipment, let them waste their manpower, that'll be very good. And we don't have any of this cord, so that's fine with me. 
But at this point, as you can see, I'm really ready just to make a lot of divisions. So Codex stuff, we got in, we're gonna get tons, tons and tons and tons of guns, uh, divisions. Uh, let's see. I don't mind doing this one next, and then we're gonna save more political power. Melding Codex Doctrine with operational reality has never been an easy task, nevertheless. Tony's experience in the Circle of Steel makes her the perfect woman for the job, because we definitely need to get through our land auction ASAP. Just as fast as possible right now. Long range reel is good. Let's grab some decryption, which is very nice. We've lost 85 versus 600, which is not bad, especially by abandoning the area down here. Uh, by doing that, we actually might be able to push in through here, but they're still attacking quite well. Good. Engine advancements. Let's grab some of that, too. It's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. Let them attack. We we will be able to defend this way, hopefully, as well. So, Not bad, not bad. Focus fire is going to be very good. Uh, uh, ooh, it's a little bit ahead of time, but that's fine. Let's do that one. Uh, ooh, actually, how much do they want? 41 f military factors will be required. We have... We can make five. Yeah, we can do that one. That's fine. Uh, that's just what we're going to be focusing on a whole bunch here. Uh, actually, screw it. Both of you do that. Nothing but melees for now. All right, looks like they're banning the line just a little bit. But they're probably going to go ahead and try to uh, take out stuff. But really, the only thing you really need here is to take Monterey and Tlaloc's there, and you'll be golden. So... Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, why are you guys going down there? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't go that direction. Do we have anything here? Um, that's infantry. Another infantry group that we're making. We'll probably switch to robots maybe eventually. We'll see. But I'm not really worried about that right now at all. We're in a sniper. I kind of wish they didn't change this up so much. Hmm. Ninjas. Ninja skill bonuses. We could probably do that one. I will save for terrains probably. Okay, so definitely. I, I'm just worried about these guys up here, so... We'll definitely have to use waterways to our advantage. Alright, so the goal is, for you guys, at least for some of you guys, I need one group to get down here to cut them off at the border. Constructive appliances are nice. I mean, this is all just blueprints, which is not bad, but still, old world boons. Ooh, that's not bad, but we need to have Fort Hood, probably. So, this is really not bad. So, yeah, delve deeper would be nice. Fort Hood. Which is right over there, on over the border. Yeah. So, it is what it is. But right now, we're just going to keep our PP. Just keep as much PP as possible so we can get stuff done. Because up next... Ooh. That is three factories. This is a lot more we have in production planned. That's four factories, technically. This would be nice to core, but that's 300. So, I'd rather core this one first. So, we need 272. So, it is what it is. I need you guys to just go. Oh, we overran some divisions. Nice. Go, 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 Power Rangers. Nice. Good. Cut them off. Cut those in the north off. You might be able to slink down and get to the locks there, and then we'll be able to capitulate them very quickly, which would be very good. Monoplane attackers are nice. Grab some more assault on that part. Very good. Oh, we found some enemies. That's fine, though. They're not that strong, and we've killed off so far 2,600 while taking about 500 casualties of our own, and they're gone. See? Not too bad. Alright, so up next. <clears throat> we got quite a bit of money. That's not bad. Oh, we could do that, but I'll save our PP for this. Monterey is good to have as well. Uh, people are just going to attack us like crazy now. Like, I'll be honest, like, that's why I did my fade and fade out. Because I, I was recording quite a bit, but then enemies attack us like crazy, which, oh boy, that's just not good. We can do that one, that's fine. Oh, oh! Oh, my bad. I didn't know we could actually do Fort Hood Expeditions. Only security codes. Fort Hood level reached 8. Oh, my, my apologies. I forgot about that we could actually do it like this. Oh, add 25 soldiers to our expeditionary manpower pool. Okay. Recruit Rosado. She helped delve deeper into the facility. She has helped us before after all. Prepare a hijacker. Research speed goes down. Adds one unused security code. Prepare a gate crasher. That's research speed. And then launch expedition. I want to wait till these are done first. That'll be good. In the meantime... Hmm... This gives us a massive border with the Republic here. Uh, they have so much manpower too. They don't... They only... Okay, they're probably worth taking out. 19 divisions. These guys have 13. Yeah, that's probably worth... Ooh, that's a big old border though. Hmm... How far... Ooh, 105 days. We don't have enough time to get those many divisions out. Hmm... We are on extreme time crunch. We one on one, we can take them out and do well. Don't get me wrong, we can do very well. I'll go paint train instead. Instead here. You 
few guys. The infantry could honestly do maybe okay here. We'll need the power armor for this. Maybe? Maybe? Let's get, wait for that stuff and just get more PP. We just need to core stuff so we don't have to deal with coring more stuff. And uh, less resistance, less guns will be needed for that, less equipment. So that'll all be extremely necessary. And start doing some robot stuff. Scrap bots. That'd be good. Rosado stays home. Despite losing the election, Rosado has chosen to continue her teaching gig in glory rather than work for us. Oh, well, we can respect the pursuit of knowledge. Good for her. All right. We're close. Three unused security codes. Well, that's good. All right. So what are we looking? Guns are not too bad, but I'm going to rush these guys out. It doesn't matter. We need them right now. We literally need to make these divisions as fast as possible. Because once these guys attack, because they will attack, you, you can like abandon all this area if you have to. But you can just like defend right there, but you have a massive line right there, and Texas attacks, or Mexico attacks, you know, the Republic of the Rio Grande, we're kind of screwed, at least a little bit, so there you go, do that, that's good, less resistance, more max factories, we, we need them now. <laughs> I am very worried about this, I'll be honest, very worried. Gun-wise, 25 is not enough, we need more. We seriously just need more. And since we're here, 15 divisions at a time, good. It's not enough, though. Ooh. The goal will be hopefully that our infantry can push through here fast enough. Oh, I'm glad I looked at this before we got too far. There you go. Plan and get ready to go. Um, that's not... Uh, just do it anyways, fine. Yeah. We need factories out the wazoo. Oh, baby. Go higher. Go higher. Definitely go higher. Oh, we need a lot of this stuff too. That's not good. I'll keep it down to three. What was that? Oh! There goes Texas! That's really not good. Oh boy. Balto explosives are not bad. Oh, uh, why not? Ooh, that is... I am worried. But they didn't annex the unity of Austin yet, so that's good at least, right? That's good at least. Because we can just, like, plop, like, what? Five divisions on each one and they should be able to hold a line there, maybe? So, and we can keep expanding this way as well. That's pretty good. Ooh, yeah, rapid prototyping. We need that immediately. We should have got that earlier, actually. Yeah. Uh, oh, watch out for spies. Not bad. We get another spy, which is good. Oh, uh, did I do this off screen already? Oh, rats. That's not good. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. I already got expert negotiator, but better consumer goods, more stability, less caps income. Totally, totally fine with me. Millie's out the butt. Millie's out the butt. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I kept increasing that. Why did I not increase any further? That's fine. Whatever. Just more guns, more guns, more guns. Uh, no, we can't spare anything for you. We literally can't spare anything for you. Not bad. I mean, this is... Oh, crap. They did annex them. So... They don't have any cores over here, which is good, but still. Mm, I, I am worried. I am worried, though. Even though we took out these guys, then these guys will attack eventually, which is not good. So we've kind of... We're not in a very good position, I'll be honest. <laughs> We're not in a great position. Yeah, let's get some simple servos to help out our heavy forces. Hey, they returned. Nice. Natural disaster sucks, though. More attack and defense for half a year. Not bad. Give everything we can. Nothing to spare. That's fine. I don't mind getting the stability here for now. Alright, so up next. Let's see. Government staff for schools are good. That's fine, fine, fine. Up here, we definitely need core this next, because this will be core territory that we will have to defend. And we do get, like, maybe another military factory, maybe. We'll see. Get more water, which doesn't really matter to us too much, though. Another operative, James Powell. Henry looks pretty cool, but we'll change for now. People really are kind of raiding us, huh? All right, so we can go to war with these guys. Ah, uh, this is probably not good. Actually, this will be very good if we push through here quickly. But, you know what, just in case, I'm going to save. And I'll show you that. You know, I've been saving. I've been doing other things, too, so. We'll try it. We'll definitely try it. We'll probably won't be super successful. We've got holes in our line here. So, yeah. We'll try it. Oh, crap. And I forgot about this stuff, too. But whatever. Guys, please go. Please, 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 please go. You guys can actually cut them all off here, which would be amazing, actually. But that's all right. This is a big old risk we're taking. Big old risk. Go. Infantry. The infantry are doing great. Doing great, great, great so far. Force the attack. They finally call these guys in. We're going all the way in, too. Force them to die. Force them to die. Take out the TAA estate. That'll be good. We're actually doing a lot better than I thought we would. Yeah, with this campaign, you will, you might have to, if you try this by yourself, 
you might have to start and stop a few different times because oh, off screen it was not very bueno. But as long as we can get over here, that'd be great. We're literally just using empty land as bait. That's literally all we're doing. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a few of them there. Nice. Very good. Just head on into that way. That's fine. Uh, you guys go up to Eagle Pass. You guys go for the Gloria. And you guys go straight for the TWA Estate and Edwards Plateau. This is just a gigantic mess. All just bait territory. There they go. Good, good, good. Get down here and take all the cores. None of this matters once we win. Gloria's fallen. Good, good, good. And add uh, to that one because you can. You, you, you can't stop. You literally cannot stop. Right control. My apologies for the loud clicking and clacking of my keyboard. But I am very focused right now. Up next, Green Rifles. That's a little bit ahead of time. We do want to do more robots, so we'll start getting maybe some of them made. Maybe we'll see what happens. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Come on. Is that enough? Oh, are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Go, 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 go. Let the infantry do the rest of this. They'll die fast enough. Oh, wait. Oh, this is glitched. Ah. Actually, you guys move pretty darn fast. Nice. Force it. Force them to die. We got to take that now. We got them. Look at that. Awesome. Now we're in a much better position now. Obviously, Kaiser's Legion will want to take the Republic of the Rio Grande's territory. But let's give us more factories to work with. And we did sacrifice this for compliance just a little bit, which is not that bad. 98% compared to 100%, not bad at all. So, the Alamo chapter is looking very good. Uh, there was a comment saying that we did look like Chile as well. We took basically took all the coast. So, but now we are more in, inland of Mexico and more Texas, which is very awesome. But, as you can see, this is very not good position for us to be in. Just not good. Actually, what is our caps? Oh, repair hijacker? Are we good to go? If no, we could try it. What's a Fort Hood level breached? Prepare the expe expeditions. Is that enough, really? I don't know if that's enough. Launch the expedition. Gamma 13. Once we feel prepared enough, we can venture further into the bowels of Fort Hood. Let us either decipher secrets or die trying. We'll try it. We'll try it. Interaction followers help out, give them more civvies. Alright, um, we're no longer at war. We could do this. I like the stability. Stability is very, very good to invest in. Oh, that's not good. But we do get one, two, three. So getting three more trade notes is actually very, very nice. And we do have a good balance of here, so we'll stop spending money for now. I want to wait until these guys are deployed. Oh, Gamma Door uh, Security Guard. Security door at Gamma 13. Last time we ventured into the depths of Fort Hood, we managed to reach this door. Impassable with no alternative route in sight, but a massive hulk of reinforced metal blocking any further progress. But we need to get through here to further uncover the secrets of the past. Who knows what wonders will await for us beyond this obstacle? Use brute force, smack it violently even if it might explode. Or cave in or blow up. Perhaps we should not smack it at smack it after all, but rather blow it up. Find a way around is very, very unlikely that we'll find another way around. Very, very unlikely, but never hurts to try, right? Hack the system using security codes prepared by our scribes might be the best option, if we have enough codes for that. Retreat, we can always return at a later date, better equipped and prepared to deal with this particular issue. Hack the system. Success. We are through. We managed to let us delve onwards ever deeper. Every step brings us forward and closer to victory. Nice. And we get two more arms workshops, which is very, very good. Uh, what are we lacking right now besides guns? Nothing. We've got more than enough guns. Okay, that's good. We need money. We need a lot of money. Oof. That's not good. That's really not good. Hmm. Because basically, we have to cover all this. And one, two, three, four, five, six tiles versus one, two, three. So it go, oh, three, four, three, four. We gotta go all the way over here as well, just because we can cover that waterway so they can't invade us, even though they might try to invade us in the rear. I will use a lot of these guys to help guard over here as well for now. Um, you guys can, that's literally it. I'll take out three divisions, one to go here, to help guard the ports, because you never know what they might be doing. Um, and then you guys stay down here as well. Yeah, I think that's what we got to do. Wait, what? No. I want you three to go right there. There you go. I really don't know when they're going to attack, so... Oh, uh, we can't spend any more money here. we got to hold out onto every single cent we got. Now, they're not looking great either right now, but Texas, it's just got an ungodly amount of manpower and, and industry, which makes sense. Another bank, good. Oh, good. More trade. 73,000 manpower. Wow. 
Wow, that's a lot. Oh, <laughs> so many divisions, man. Oh, that's not good. That's so not good. Hey, that helped out quite a bit, though. Once we get another trino, we should be okay for a while. Manpower. I mean, I thought manpower would be one of our biggest issues here. But it just is not. Which is good. Which is very good. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very good. And let's keep making more civvies as well. Factory-wise, we're doing relatively okay. We can lower this maybe by 5 for now. So we can make more power armor. Because we got 30,000 guns in reserve. So that's not too bad. But what else can we core? Uh, probably definitely this spot next. 211. That's not bad. We're going to core as many of the Texan provinces as possible. To get more uh, defense on core territory. Uh, how are planes going along? Oh, oh, over here would it be bad? We're going to summon engineers. Mutant Menace. That wouldn't be bad for attack. That's not really useful. United Texan Front. We could do this. Eventually. Mm, I, mm. If we wait longer, though, Texas will just grow stronger and stronger. But then we grow stronger as well. Uh, it doesn't feel good to go crawling back to the Texans, but it must be done. Our survival requires putting aside our objectives. And may God have mercy on our souls for abandoning our charge. We can get plenty of that, too. Paladin stuff. Power armor technology. Yeah, that's nice. I'd rather honestly have the PP. Radar stations. Scientific electronics, though. Assign more engineers. We'll do it. We can't afford to delay any longer. We'll assign most of our engineers to the Space Center to rapidly increase the project's pr process. Project's progress. That'll be good. Because we need more planes. If we have absolute air superiority, even then, we, we won't be 100% there. But we'll see. Triplane detectors are nice, though, to have. Simple servos are also very good. Good. Common energy weaponry. Um, scavenge PA. How much armor is that? 25. Eh, it's not terrible compared to where we are at already. So let's keep going with that stuff. Walking tanks will be good to get done. Ooh, I'm a little indecisive regarding this. Purity. So here's the deal. If you go principal, the entire army gets recon, which is nice. And you get special forces capacity multiplier, but you get the same thing over here as well. So that's kind of nullifies. You get both of it. You get slightly more recon, which is not bad. But this one gives you, an army gives you defense, hardness, soft attack, and heart attack. So you basically get on this side, you also get infantry, which is not bad. But then you also have heavy special forces, which is very good for power armor. However, if we go with purity, we heard a recruitable population factor and occupation appeal. We get more reinforce rate, and overall you get more 16% more soft attack compared to this 5, 5 or 6% over here. So this one gives you 5% more soft attack, this gives you 16 more soft attack. You get air superiority, which is good. You get Scorched Earth, which you get less reinforce rate, but that's not really anything, no problem, because we already get more reinforce rate there. This one also is for the entire army, so which includes robots. You get more defense and breakthrough, and less resistance, growth, speed, and population nomadicity, as well as Shock and All, which gives you even more air superiority and less resistance, growth, speed, and more soft attack and heart attack for the entire army, which also includes robots. So overall, I think this is just better for us to take, even though I kind of prefer going principal usually. This one in itself is not bad, but we'll take Purity. For now, which sounds very weird to take as a chapter. It doesn't just ideologically match up, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, let's go down just. If, I'll be honest, ooh, we might have to give up Gloria if the Legion really wants to take it. But let's go ahead and grab one final advancement. The work is almost done. Combining all of our efforts so far, we can construct a vastly improved space center capable of broadcasting across the continent, which would be very good. All right, let's, go, let's scroll down a little bit more. Oh, we're actually making money now. Look at that. Yes, yes. We're not going to be making money for very long. Let's launch another expedition. Get more army XP. Recent natural disasters gone. We got more uh, stability, which is good. A corridor of guns. Guns, guns, guns. Usually our brothers and sisters get very excited about the prospect of finding automated futuristic weapon systems that can cut down a man, even if in t 51 b in seconds. There's one exception to this, though. One very small exception. <clears throat> If the guns are pointed at our brothers, it is a very different thing. We have to decide what we want to do. How will we best uh, this particular obstacle? Brute force, superior hack, hack, or retreat? How many codes we got? Seven. By using an excessive amount of codes, we might be able to crack all of them? Wow, we lost quite a few. Turret success, by whatever means. We managed to get past those turrets. Let us hope we won't see more of those trouble troublesome things. Alright, not bad. 25 more soldiers, we could probably do that one. Research speed, one unused security code, and that's fine too. Just keep doing that stuff, that's fine with me. Progress, 100, uh, 25 soldiers, might as well, right? Pioneer kits are fine, I'm not sure why we're making that, but whatever. Uh, Air Force, still not good to do yet. We're good with all that stuff, construction speed with bricks. Robots, let's keep going with robots. Let's go. Let's keep going with, down with that idea. And over here, this stuff is okay, artillery is okay, logistics... That stuff, that stuff, this stuff. We'll probably go with this one just because it's unique to us. So I like that one a lot. 
Decorated Hero is good for stability. Research speed, it's not bad. We're already using that a little bit. Fortifications are not bad either. Outpost, 20% is pretty nice. Military factory is not bad. Uh, we'll do, we'll take it. So, eh, it's, right. it's, it's fine, whatever. Ooh, what are we missing here? Oh, we're missing dogs. Oh, that's not good. Yep, oh, dogs to the top. That's the case. We'll go up to three. Let's order this by two and then go back to three. But we'll put you at the bottom since we're already making you already. All right, so for now... Oh, and we did get scientific electronics, which is very good. We could do pleas for help. Ooh, in the meantime, we might just be able to go to war with some of these guys. Maybe? Maybe? I do want to take them out. We get more factors that way. We do lose some guns, but, I mean, guns are fine for now. Okay, they went to war with Lubbock, which is good to see. And, ooh, Pecos Colony. Oh, that is not good. Oh, God, that is not good. Uh, we don't need to see that. Thank you, but goodbye. Ooh. Peter Bonds, not bad. Go rooted. We've got to go rooted. Mountaineer, yeah, that's fine. More divisions, good. <sighs> Lubbock is just dead immediately. <sighs> you know what we might have to do? Give up our Texan holdings. So we can achieve peace with these guys and then go strike back at Texas. Because Texas is just, it's, in, it's incredibly strong. Now, wait, they went to war with these guys, but they have no way to get over there unless they naval invade. So that's not terrible for us, huh? Old world tactics are gone, of course. Keep some of that PP for now. Take you guys. This will be probably pretty easy to do. Go through one, two, three, and cut them off like that. Mm, industrial fertilizer, yes, please. All right. Okay, so we have some more of this. Let's go and launch another expedition while we do all this stuff. It's fine. More. Oh, that's naval. Is that naval XP? That's army XP. That's good. That's good. I just want to make sure we're not doing the wrong one here. The stronger... Oh, the longer we wait, the stronger they become, but so do we. Security force fields. <clears throat> Pre-war USA has always had a penchant for blocking progress of those that wanted to compete. Pulse fields that easily allow those with right genetic makeup to make to pass unhindered are one such obstacle. Everyone not coded for them simply ceases to exist once trying to pass them, disintegrated into atomic particles. The faint glow they admit makes a section of the fort so deep underground seems particularly eerie. Let us hope we find a way around or a way back. Root force? Fail... Well, if we, get, if we know that we're going to fail, what's the point of doing that? Um, hmm. Hack. That obviously better option, assuming we have enough codes. Retreat? We can try to hack it. Success! We manage, if by code or force, this time through code, we are through. How deep does this rap, rabbit hole go? How much more must we endure to finally reach our destination? Onwards. Cool. Very good. Reparations? I'm going to get more soldiers. It's fine with me. We definitely need more codes. I like using codes a lot. It's fine. Get down there. We should be able to pretty quickly beat these guys up. And by beating these guys up, we'll get more factories. We need factories badly. We really do. So up next, we'll, what are we going to... Oh, we might want to wait to core that. I might core this part of Mexico because we have to abandon this area. Mexico would be good to core as well. We have about... Okay, that's not us. That's good. We got a while still. We still got a while. Yes, I hope so. Ooh. Ooh, actually, launch an expedition. Now we're going to wait. More soldiers are fine. Actually, trade node. Can we trade with more people? That would be very good. 91. Oh, that would be really good. We need more money immediately. 108. Houston. Monterey. Nice. And that should make us a little bit more money, right? Let them kill each other off. Uh, launch expedition. We could. We would blow stuff up, but we'll see what happens. 53 is very nice to have right now. <clears throat> This is definitely not how I wanted us to uh, do the Alamo chapter. Absolutely not how I wanted us to do this, but whatever. 30,000 refugees are here. My, uh, uh, fine, do that one. We still have 25,000 there. Oh my goodness. That's a little nuts. Mm. All right. We have five codes. Prepare a hijacker. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Stumbling sentries. We could try that. We'll see what happens with this one. Non-discriminatory targeting is good. Airborne assaults. Air superiority is very good as well. Got it. Oh, slumbering sentries. We have to decide what to do with them. Turn them into scrap metal, taking meticulous care to remove them all, or do we try to take the, them over? Let us hope our choice is right one while we wait between the bodies of a thousand sleeping sentries. Smash them? 
Better safe than sorry. Attempt to hack them. Retreat. Ooh, I want to do that, but I haven't used a map art also. Smash them. Better safe than sorry. Nice. We got level 28 breached. How far does this rabbit hole go down? Under the corpse. That's okay. Naval stuff is okay. Old world beacon is okay as well. And this stuff is all just... It's just okay. It's not great. Nice. Mm. Mm. Electronics? Yes. Research speed? Yes. And robots? Protect our mark 2s? Why not? Please don't attack us yet. For the love of God, please do not attack us yet. We have two weeks until we can go to war with these guys, which will be good. Uh, you can go and throw another military factory right there for now. Are we missing anything besides planes? No, but we definitely need more planes where we're headed. I need some of that too, so... Alright, those guys are killing each other. That's fine. I'll put you up a little higher as well. And there you go. Power armor's looking okay. Yeah, that arm this armor's okay. 24... Oh! Oh boy! Oh! As soon as we're ready to go to war, they demand territory. Hmm. That's a lot of territory. Forge of Giants, media planes. Oh wait, and Hondo. Is that it? Is it, is it really just only three territories? Three hmm. Well, I mean, we've built these areas up quite a bit. And if they take that, that's a lot more territory. Can we actually really just defend here, though? That's my question. Ooh. You guys have to rush up here. Uh, you guys will also have to rush up here as well. I might actually cut you... Or I can't really cut you guys down any further. Ooh. As soon as we can go to war with these guys, then they do this crap to us. Ooh, that's not good. Just get to the line. Oh, God, they're getting to the line as well. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to play you guys now. So you guys can get some more soldiers out. I don't care if you don't have enough equipment or experience or whatever. I don't care. I, I know we could save this for, like... Plundering. Um, actually, grab inspiration as well. Uh, after we plunder Fort Hood, we do get some more uh, bonuses for our new leaders. But Sentinel Automated Power Armor Unit. Oh, look at this. Look at that thing glow illuminating it. And the terminal with those schematics. Yet the heart of the piece is a software sleeping within those terminals, ready to be taken. Ready to awaken her suits, even without masters. Slave to the command of a singular brother. We will become legion with this. It was worth it. Every single sacrifice. Steak sentinels will bring order to a lawless wasteland, forged in steel. Tempered in blood. For the brotherhood. Sentinel command slave. Whoa, what is that? Uh, is it under here? Marlurks? No, it's not under here. Um, reward technologies, how about that? Units, lockkeeper platoons, command, oh. Armor is what? Armor, manpower, da, 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 da. We don't, hmm. There's those guys. Com hmm. Command module. Scavenge PA, riot gear. Uh, actually, yeah, we want to replace the riot gear with this stuff. So crowd control gear gets replaced with riot gear, which would be nice. Um, I guess we can make that. Right? So is that the exact same thing as power armor? Unless this... Oh. Command module. What is command modules? Is that a different type of power armor, I think, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? I'm not really sure. Hmm. We don't need power new kits, though. Oh man, if this goes poorly and badly, then, uh, ooh. Mr. Handys are nice. Mr. Guthies are very nice as well. Come on, keep moving, 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 moving. We've still got one day left. Oh boy, that is so not good. Stop training, stop training. Oh god, this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh man, I might have to replay this off screen just a little bit to make sure that we do okay. Like, I might have to replay some of this, so. Um, grenade rifles, I guess we might as well try that. We're going to bat to ban in Houston. We just don't have the numbers for this. Okay, Free Fires and Kaisers Legion. That's good to see. That's very, very good. Uh, I'd love to core more of this stuff, but... 216, that's... Oh! God, that's not looking good immediately. Oh, that's so not good. That's so not good. We're doing relatively okay over here, too. That's not bad, though. Um... Yeah, this is not good. 
Texas is extremely strong, which only makes sense, don't get me wrong, it just makes perfect sense, but still. Oh god, I wish we could, this wasn't glitched so we could see what's going on here. And we do have a defensive war here, so... Hmm. I don't think there's really anything here we can get another boost for now. We get more weekly st war support, which would be very nice. But this stuff is done, which is nice as well. We can probably do some of that. Uh, yeah, there's not really much here we can do for more defense. Artillery won't really help us out that much. So, knights. If we do this, we actually lose 1% more defense, which is not very good. So, I'm not really sure what to do then. Or military academy trading. Uh, military academy officers. No outsiders, which would make sense, of course. I mean, this is not going to do very much for us. We could try that, but just really not going to do very much. Oh, man, we're definitely losing in places where we don't have cores, so... Get down so you don't die. Get down so you don't die. And even places where we do have cores, it's still not looking very good. God, I wish we could see what's happening over here. Oh, they're getting attacked pretty heavily as well, so... Okay, they went to war with Bayou Motors as well. That's good. No, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. San Marcos, I've been there. Go ahead and just do this. Just go one, two, three, four... There you go, something like that. To there, to there. Just don't lose the Alamo. That'd be nice. There you go. Go ahead and go down. Retreat if you can. Please don't lose the Alamo. Please, for the love of God, don't lose too many places here. So, yeah, this is... The Alamo chapter is extremely hard. It's, it's, it's really not easy at all. Like, it's ridiculous. Texas is too easy to play as. The Texan Brotherhood really is. So... I'm probably going to have to mess around with this a little bit more off-screen, just because this is just not good. It's just straight-up not good, man. It's too. It's pretty darn difficult, so. That's right, guys. Just go and retreat for now. Go and retreat. Well, you guys technically probably could still win there, but... Mm, maybe? Air superiority is probably pretty good for us, actually. Look at that. We actually do have... Air that's pretty weird. Okay, area superiority is not bad. Yeah, you guys don't worry about that. Alright, so that's not bad. Let's do this again. Hold, everybody. Do that. Oh, my goodness. We're doing relatively okay-ish. I don't mind maybe taking out half of you guys, maybe. Go right there. Just get you guys here. Hold, and actually go right here to help plug up the holes. Yeah, you can definitely tell where we don't have core on defense ter defense on core territory. Ooh. I'm really disappointed that we cannot see though where uh, how many losses they've taken because they they must have taken thousands of losses. They have to have taken thousands of losses thus far. It's completely unfair if they haven't. Two divisions might be able to push these guys actually back out. Okay, maybe I'm wrong about that. But I might have to go back to the drawing board because we get encircled here and there's not much we can do about this. But, yeah, I'm going to figure out how we're going to do this off screen. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will come back and assess ourselves with the Provisional Republic of Texas. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.